Meantime, a new era begins in local journalism this week with the merger of the Times-Picayune and New Orleans Advocate. The first edition of the new locally owned paper hits streets on Monday. Eric Paulson sat down with Peter Kovacs about the changes and more on what to expect. Peter, uh, let's go to first things first. First, it was going to be the New Orleans Advocate, Times-Picayune. Now it's the Times-Picayune, New Orleans Advocate. Why the change? Um, well, we spent um, a long time this week listening to Times-Picayune readers and subscribers, and there's a lot of respect. The Times-Picayune's a great brand in New Orleans, and it's been damaged by the three-day-a-week delivery schedule. But, you know, we're going to bring it back to seven days a week, and, and it's going to be better than ever. Will it eventually just be the Times-Picayune? I mean, because it is, it is a, a brand that's really well-known in the city. Yeah. Well, it's you know it's a little hard to tell. The Advocate was a brand that wasn't known in the city at all seven years ago, and obviously it was a big success because you know in the end, uh, you know in the end we absorbed the Times Picayune. It wasn't the other way around. So I think we're just going to play it by ear. One thing with a locally owned newspaper is that you know we listen to our readers. We don't have to listen to shareholders in New York or investors, and so I think we're going to play it by ear and, and see what our customers want. And how big of a deal is this? How unusual is it for one paper to absorb another like this? Um, it happened uh, once that I know of in uh, the Tampa Bay area, uh, but it's it's very unusual, you know, for a locally owned media company to take on one of the biggest media companies in the country and, you know, literally run them out of one of the biggest markets in the country. And, and that's pretty much what happened. I mean, and what changes will we see when, when we get that first edition, I mean, and, and then not on down the road. Um, well, we've absorbed, uh, um, you know, we've, we've taken in a number of distinctive Times-Picayune writers. Um, you know, we'll have Doug McCash, we'll have Bob Marshall, you know, we'll have Dan Gill. Uh, plus, many of the advocate writers are longtime Times-Picayune people. I'm, you know, I'm a longtime Times-Picayune people. You know, Martha Carr and Gordon Russell are longtime Times-Picayune people. So I think what we hope is that people will see the daily uh, joined newspaper and uh, uh, it will remember, they'll make them remember the, the golden days of the Times-Picayune. Yeah, and one of the things that you guys really wanted was that the website, the NOLA.com, because it is a big one, will the New Orleans Advocate website go away or will be absorbed into that, or how does that work? We're going to brand ourselves as NOLA.com. That, you know, that's a good brand. It has, it has good traffic. And so uh, if you type in NOLA.com, you will go to a redesigned version of our website. And if you type in the NewOrleansAdvocate.com, uh, you'll get the same thing, and you just will have uh, typed in a lot of extra keystrokes. And, and, and for people who had the Times-Picayune subscription, which had gone down over the years, uh, will they just just ease into you and to, to, will their subscription still hold and then they get the uh, Times Picayune Advocate instead now? Uh, they will get the, uh, for the first week, uh, they will get the Times Picayune Advocate joint publication and they will have uh, various incentive ads. Uh, it'll be wrapped in an incentive ad asking them to upgrade to seven days a week. And upgrading to seven days a week um, is only pennies a day. It, it does not cost double what three days a week is. Actually, in many cases, people who are getting three days a week were paying you know, a similar amount to what we were uh, charging for seven days a week so uh, we will encourage them to upgrade and it'll cost them pennies more and if they go for it they'll get seven days a week and if not they'll get the same three days a week they were getting and how big of a gamble is this for for the the Georgias I mean uh, you know newspapers are in trouble all over the country but putting two together and then really kind of redoubling the effort to make a, a couple of great newspapers one great newspaper I mean, that, that, that is kind of a big deal. You know, it's, it's kind of an old school financial play, but you know, this is a traditional community and uh, one, obviously one of, the, one of the flaws with advanced publications was that they didn't understand New Orleans and they, you know, they gambled wrong. So I think John Georges understands New Orleans a lot better than the Newhouse family. Well, we wish you the best because uh, uh, a thriving newspaper is important to any community. 
So uh, thank you. So okay, well thank you very much. And we should add that Channel 4's coverage partnership with the Times Picky New Orleans Advocate will continue. You'll see stories and joint investigations featuring their reporters on our newscasts and website.